right, welcome everybody. It's the demo of the dumble. So, um, first of all, there's another blonde lady in my life. Look at this one. I just got a new telly not too long ago. So, um, so here's the dumble. We've got. Uh, I'll go through the controls quickly on the front before we start playing. We've got. Um, this is the um, the uh, bright switch. We've got volume, treble, middle, bass. There's a jazz rock switch, a deep switch. This is the two controls. There's the ratio and the master kind of volume for the drive, and then this is the master volume for the whole amp, and then this is the presence. So, um, effectively, I'm going to start first play it clean. I won't have any reverb or anything like that. Um, I do have an effects loop, but I'm not going to use it because it actually will add signal loss a little bit. I don't have a buffered one, so I'm not too worried about using it a lot for the demo. I don't think it's really that important. It'd be better to have a, a really buffered effects loop to prove that as being good, but it will work, I'm sure. Um, but effectively, so let's go ahead and get, just get playing. I'll give you some of the clean tone on the telly. Uh, and then I'll go through some of the different tones. I might add a little bit of reverb at the end, and then I'm going to switch to my Strat, and then I'll probably switch to the SG. So I'll just give you a little bit of playing on each one. Um, I've, I've adjusted the, the tone and the treble middle bass to where I like it myself. And of course, that's just a personal thing, but uh, everybody kind of does that their own way. And I've also kind of played with these switches. You can obviously hear um, when I, I'll try and just really quickly let you hear the bright switch. So here's bright. Uh, right now it's on, but let's turn it off. So. <laughs> Some people tend to say the bright switch is more for using it when you have humbuckers because they tend to lose brightness, but I still like it with the telly. Uh, the rock jazz, so that's more of a... That brings in a little bit more brightness, I'd say, kind of a lot of ways. And then for the deep switch... You can kind of hear that drops it to a bit a more like mid and lower level. Don't have as much, you don't have as much brightness, which I don't like too much, so... But uh, uh, I like I tend to like those both up myself and the bright up. So So here's the strap.
So that, there you have that. So let's go ahead and quickly get my, uh, I'll switch this over. We'll let you hear the SG. All right, here's the SG going in. just out of this amp quickly with a, a few of the basic settings. Uh, I am really impressed with the overall tone of it. It kind of blows my mind that I can get so much uh, drive at such low volume. Uh, I'm not even going to dime it because at 100 watts it would make me go deaf. But uh, I tried out the 50 watt, 100 watt switch and I've had it at max volume uh, and it's pretty brutal. So um, even at 50 watts. So there's not like a major difference in volume between the two. But that's one of the things that's pretty amazing about this is with that master volume, I can still get that tone. In fact, let me turn the master volume down a lot with the drive on. So this is going to be pretty soft, but the whole point is... So you can really kind of push it with the volume low. But you do lose a little bit of tone when you get it too low. So I think that, uh, for my idea, shows off the, the kind of complexity and cool things this thing can do. Uh, I definitely would like you guys to give me any hints of anything else you'd like me to maybe show off with it. I'm probably going to do a de uh, another demo video here pretty soon that I'm going to try and place back to back. Uh, multiple different amps here. I've got my AC30 that I built. This is the Tweedledee Deluxe. This, of course, is the Dumble, and I might pull out. I've got a, a EH, Gibson EH185 that I built that's down in the basement that I'm trying to get a faceplate put together for. And as you can see, none of them have faceplates. I need to start getting those done. But thank you, everybody, for coming along for this uh, pretty wild adventure of building the Dumble. It's been an absolutely uh, exciting, hard, stressful, uh, but a challenging build, and I'm very glad that I'm done with it at this point. So thanks, everybody. Please give me a like, a subscribe, a thumbs up, and uh, and give us comments at the bottom. Thanks.